So let me ask you a question. Why do people not get colds and flus in August? I mean, think about it. Everybody's getting cold in December, but who gets a cold in August? Colds and flus are 89% more prevalent in the dry winter months in North America, and this is why. In the back of our nose and the back of our throat are mucous membranes. A mucous membrane is a hair or it's a protective part of our body, but when there's plenty of humidity, they're covered with mucus. Now, I hate to gross you out here, guys, but as my little kid says, it's, it's snot, okay? Can I just be honest with you, mucus is snot. In the summertime, there's plenty of mucus on those cilia as we breathe in, and the germs get caught in the mucus. We swallow the mucus, the acids in our stomach kill the germs, and people don't get sick. Now, in the winter time, it's 8% RH. There's no more mucus on those membranes. As a matter of fact, they're so dry, they're open blood vessels. And what happens in the winter time is when you breathe in the germs, they go immediately into your bloodstream, and bada boom, bada bing, you got a cold and you got a flu. But you know what a humidifier really does? This, it's a snot maker. It puts this in your kid's nose that keeps them from getting sick. This is literally a slide from a contractor's salesperson that sells a bunch of humidifiers in Michigan by having a little fun with this thing. So we're gonna talk a little bit about relative humidity. Now, relative humidity is the percentage of moisture in the air as compared to how much moisture the air can hold. And that's at any given temperature. So the amount of moisture air can hold increases as the temperature rises and decreases as the temperature cools. Now, if you look at the psychrometric chart, every one of you has seen this chart, there's always that little gray box in the middle. And if you look at that gray box, we call that the ASHRAE comfort zone. And it basically says that everything in that area feels the same to human skin. And literally, it says that 68 degrees and 70% RH feels the same to human skin as 82 degrees and 19% RH. So instead of just changing the temperature in somebody's home, well, just change the relative humidity, guys. It does exactly the same thing. Here's a little selling tip, and this is a great tool that you can use in the home. What we've done is we've taken that ASHRAE comfort chart and we kind of put all the bad things that happen in a home, you know, bacteria, viruses, fungus, mites, respiratory infections, asthma, uh, ozone interaction. And you can see that human beings, the optimal comfort zone is 30 to 60% RH. And if you look on either side where all the red is, that's just something horrible that's gonna cause a problem in your house. Customers like to see this chart and a lot of our successful comfort advisors use this by simply walking into the home they take out their hygrometer and they say, Mrs. Smith, before we start today, we're just going to do a quick moisture humidity check in the home. Would that be okay? Who says no? Don't do that. I mean, it's free. So what they do is they take a reading, and I can guarantee you in the middle of December in Columbus, Ohio, it's going to be probably eight or nine degrees. They literally take a Sharpie, they draw a line right there, and then they hand it to the homeowner and say, yeah, there's a bit of a problem here. They don't sell a humidifier. They don't push a humidifier. But if you take this chart and you draw a line right in the red and you give it to a homeowner and say, there's a bit of a problem here, I guarantee you they're gonna go either, yeah, we know, or B, yeah, how do you fix that? And you go, don't worry. At Mark Marquilo's Heating and Cooling, we've solved this a thousand times. All you need is this humidifier. Check the box. Don't talk about price. Don't push it at that point. You just check the box because here's the thing, if you say, Many of our satisfied customers were exactly like you were until we solved their problem. That's a powerful, powerful closing tool. Now these tools are available to you right from April Air, your local district sales manager, but let's move ahead. So guys, I'm gonna give you the top 15, this is like Letterman, the top 15 solutions that a humidifier provides in your home. And I got these from listening to comfort advisors, from outbound callers, from inside sales, from service technicians. I didn't make this stuff up. So here they are. Number one, it moisturizes your skin and lips. Number two, it protects your throat. Number three, it soothes your sinuses. Number four, it halts the spread of germs. Number five, it eases the symptoms of illnesses. Number six, it keeps your psyllium healthy. You gotta keep your psyllium healthy. Number seven, it reduces snoring. Number eight, it helps warm your home. Number nine, it humidifies your house plants. Number 10, it protects your furniture and your wood floors. Number 11, it helps reduce pet shedding. This is a big one, it really, really is. Number 12, it reduces pet dander from your cat or dog's skin. Number 13, now this is a big one. 
This reduces energy costs by allowing you to lower your thermostat in the winter. You know, number 14, if you're talking about a steam humidifier, did you know that steam humidification is 100% germ and bacteria free? It's boiled water. There is no bad stuff in the water. And number 15, and one we've all felt, is it eliminates static electricity. We've all touched the doorknob and had that happen to our finger. Here's a strategy that I saw at Comfort Advisor. This was brilliant. He, this, was a, uh, this was a call, a no-heat call, and uh, the possibility of selling a new furnace. The guy walks in with an April Air humidifier, and the customer says, what's that? And he goes, it's an April Air home humidifier. I brought it along with me because every now and then I find a home in this neighborhood that still doesn't have one. She's like, we don't have one. That thing was sold right there. That simple. Here's another one. This was a guy up in Minneapolis. The guy says to the homeowner, folks, I just have to say that almost every single home I'm in in Minneapolis with nice wood floors and beautiful woodwork has an April Air humidifier in their furnace, and you don't. Did someone tell you not to use one? They're like, bah, bah, what are those? That one was sold right there. Here's another one. This one was in Milwaukee, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The guy goes, Mr. Customer, if I know for sure that you need a humidifier in this house for one of many reasons, do you want me to tell you or not tell you? Well, what do you think the answer to that was? No, don't tell me. The guy said, well, yeah, tell me. That humidifier was sold. Guys, don't you see? These are just opening salvos. If you can get past the first question, these things really sell themselves. Don't be afraid, not at all. So I'll get you some technical schmecknickel here. Did you know that one cubic foot of wood holds one pound or one pint of water at 60% RH? The limerick is a pint is a pound the world around. So here's an amazing statistic. Now this is according to the Idaho Forest Products Commission data. Did you know the weight of an average 2,000 square foot home decreases by 10,000 pounds? That's five tons during the heating season. Now think about it. If one cubic foot of wood, a foot by a foot by a foot, holds one pint of water, which weighs one pound at 60% RH, what do you think happens to your home when it's 8% RH? The house is literally moving up and down on its foundation. You ever heard anybody say, oh, that sound you're hearing is just the house settling? Well, it is the house settling. It weighs 10,000 pounds more in the summertime. So let's stay on that topic of, of, of wood. Do you know that all wood is hydroscopic? Now, here's some laws of nature. Humidity always migrates to dry. Heat migrates to cold. Humid air is lighter than dry air, and all politicians are liars. <laughs> just threw that one in. The point being that all wood is hydroscopic. Wood is a sponge, you guys. So what happens to all the wood in your home is when there's too much moisture in the wood, it actually warps. It bends upward from the grain. When it's too dry, it cups. It bends downward from the grain. The goal is to keep the wood in the home equal. It's called equilibrium moisture content. What that says is if a chunk of wood is between 6.2% and 9.1% moisture at 70 degrees, which is the winter time, that wood will not warp and it will not cup. Now, if you look at this chart, if you look at the gray area in the center, the 6.1 to 9.4 area, look directly below it. That corresponds, you guys, to 30 to 50% RH. It's that simple. You can affect those numbers by the relative humidity in the house, and that's what a humidifier does. As a matter of fact, here's a perfect example. This is my desk. This is my moisture content meter. This is my hygrometer. I took a reading. If you look at it, it's 20% RH in that office. It's 70 degrees in that office. If you look at it, that says that the corresponding moisture equilibrium number is 4.5, which is well short of where it should be. And if you look at my equilibrium moisture content meter, it says that it's 4% RH. Because here's the warning, guys. All wood has three different zones. There's a caution zone, there's a safe zone, there's a caution zone on the other side, and there's a guaranteed failure zone, I guarantee you. If you simply take a reading of somebody's wood with one of these tools, these are $35 tools, you guys, and show a customer this, it's pretty much a done deal in the winter that they are going to buy a humidifier. Matter of fact, this is what a wood warranty looks like. Now, there's various terminology, but every one of them says, you aren't covered against anything that goes wrong if the relative humidity in this home is not between 35 and 55% RH. 
which I can guarantee you it will be under 35 and over 55 if you don't have a dehumidifier or you don't have a humidifier. Now when people are spending $30,000 on their Bubinga hardwood floor, you think six or seven hundred dollars for a humidifier makes a difference? Absolutely. Talk about stuff like this. Okay, so this is what a humidifier will do for a home. If you think about it, it will increase the comfort of your customers. Secondly, it'll improve the health of your customers. Thirdly, it will protect the wood and the possessions in the home. And lastly, it will save them money by allowing them to run lower temperatures in the wintertime. I mean, this isn't snake oil here. Who would not want any of those things? Because here's the thing, you guys, I will tell you, technology has changed. You know, a long time ago, this is what people look like. I mean, that's a bow tie and those are respectful children. And yeah, nobody gets a cake anymore. Your customers are this today. They're tech savvy. They're using tools, they're using devices. They're connected to social media. They're connected to the social network. I mean, my kid is 20 years old. When he buys his first furnace, he's buying it off of his iPhone. So April Air has produced probably the coolest app. That it's literally a selling app that will help you sell and quote April Air humidifiers in the home. Check this thing out, it's awesome.